so we're going to be going over the new character window. Um, so for here, we have one character made named Tank Guy. I'm going to make a new character called Healer. Um, and I'm going to create them. And now you'll see we have two healers here. I mean, two characters. And you can see how they populate the lower bars. They're both in the main window. I can move healer to window two if I want by using the drop down. I can also disable healer here if I, if they're not in my lineup or I have different uh, loadouts of different characters I like to run. You can disable them and enable them. Um, and then the other thing that's not here that was on the previous app was the order. So for instance, if I have them both on main, but I want the healer to be the first person listed, I can now use a, a drag and drop method. So I can just click, hold, and drop. And put the person wherever I want. Um, works with more than one character. It could be have three characters. You know, most people are probably using three. You know, maybe you have DPS here. And we can create a DPS. And, you know, we'll move our secondary buttons over here. And so say, for instance, I want DPS on top, I can do that. I want tank on top, I can do that. I want to move DPS down. You know, whatever you want to do, drag and drop, pretty simple. Um, going on to the next window, we have windows. Windows, there's no drag and drop, there's no ordering. You can just, you know, enable and disable auxiliary windows. You can change them to have like a vertical layout if you want to put them somewhere like that, you know, um, or you can keep it as a horizontal um, and you can just delete them. Pretty simple. Hot bars, so hot bars are the non-character root like um, associated bars. Um, you can, you know, enable and disable hot bars as you see fit. And you can move them to additional windows, like you can move them to the main window if you just prefer to have one big window with hot bars on it. Um, and that's about it. Um, you know, not too much to be done there. Um, on the button window, now you'll notice uh, we list all the buttons in this button window. And they have the title, which is the text that's displayed on the button, the position, which is the position in the um, hot bar that it's associated with. So for instance, um, the character hot bars, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 12 buttons. Um, there's an enabled flag, which you can disable. So for instance, if you don't want, you know, button one here, you can get rid of it. You know, you can get rid of all these buttons if you wanted to. Um, and then you have the owner. The owner is what this is sorted by. So all of the, um, the list here is sorted by um, position and by owner. So um, you'll see like these all belong to tank guy and then you have the healer and then you have DPS and then you go down to hot bars and you have your hot bars down here. Um, now uh, the, new, the new feature here is how we edit the buttons. Um, for instance, um, like here now you just have this edit button. You click that, you get a menu that has all the features that you'd want to edit. The title, um, you know, the timer, if you do have a timer, um, you know, the command, whether the, whatever the command may be, the key bind, uh, if you want to set a key bind, a key bind priority, and you could change the background colors here as well. And um, the only thing that must be said is that you need to um, click save for anything to take place. But once you click save, you can see we still have the timer. The timer just kind of displays over the button. And yeah. And then lastly, we have settings. Um, settings, I think I went into this in another video, but they're all there. And then we have the help section. Hope you guys enjoy Boxcar 2.0 when it comes out later this week. Um, when it comes out, if you have any bugs or have any requests, please reach out to me on Reddit. My information's in the help section. You can reach out to me there. Bye.